welcome back you guys i hope everyone's having a fabulous start to the week and i hope you guys are in great spirits i just got back from barnes and nobles and i thought it would be great for this video to give you guys a little book haul take you guys to barnes and nobles give you a little book haul and show you guys some things i do to just put myself and immerse myself in that really cozy reading kind of mode for the day. Um, I'm going to try and knock out a lot more of my book. Um, I'm going to show you my current read. I'm going to show you some new things I picked up from Barnes and Nobles. So uh, let's jump into it. Okay. So starting with my haul, I love Barnes and Nobles, you guys. Honestly, you guys, I don't always start off my reading days like like at Barnes and Nobles, but you know, it's always nice to throw it in there. I love a trip to Barnes and Nobles. I feel like, I feel so calm. It's so quiet. I just love it. The smell of Starbucks, like all the fresh books. And I just, I love Barnes and Nobles, you guys. So I actually went there with a purpose this time because I did want to pick up a few classics, you know, like just classics that I don't have. So starting with the first one, Pride and Prejudice. Is this not a beautiful book, you guys? I just think it's so pretty, you guys. The fonts, just uh, Pride and Prejudice by Jane Austen. It is a truth universally acknowledged that a single man in possession of a good fortune must be in want of a wife. That's what it says on the back. It's just a beautiful book. Like, I can't wait to put this on my bookshelf already. <laughs> um, but I specifically wanted to get this one because, don't judge me, you guys. The last time I read this, I think I was maybe in the fifth or sixth grade. They assigned us the book to read, and it very much felt at that age like I was being forced to read it. So I did not enjoy it. I don't remember enjoying it. I don't even remember the story. I've never seen the movies after the fact. And yeah, I know that's bad. But now that I'm older, I feel like I appreciate a good story, a good writer. Um, I love to read now as opposed to when I was younger. You know, that's just how I was when I was younger. Like I did not appreciate this story. And I, I just want to... I just want to try it again. You know, I want to try it again. I haven't seen the movies, so I don't feel like the movies can ruin it for me because I haven't seen them. Um, I also know there's like a huge thing where there's like an original movie and then a 2005 version. Um, comment below which one is your favorite. I'll definitely read it after I read the book. Um, but I'm really excited to just look at this as an adult in a new perspective and actually read it when I want to as opposed to when I'm forced. So Pride and Prejudice was the first one I picked up. Beautiful copy. I can't wait to dive into it. The second classic I got, which I have never read, you guys. You guys are going to judge me so hard on this, but I wasn't forced to as a kid and I just never got around to it. And that's Sense and Sensibility by Jane Austen. This one was actually in the book annex section. So I got it for 10 bucks. It's a hardcover. It's so cute, you guys. Look at them. Are they not fabulous already? I just can't wait. I know some part of the backstory, like I know it's based on two sisters who are just like complete polar opposites. But other than that, I don't know anything else. So I am excited to finally read Sense and Sensibility. Um, I got this one specifically. There was, there was a matching one to this in Sense and Sensibility, but I got this one because aside from the great price, it has illustrations in it, you guys. How cute is that? Like as an adult, you don't find books that have like illustrations in them. Like you don't get pictures anymore. You, you don't get that. So I'm like, yes, I need to like get this book. I thought that was a really cool touch to it. Um, and I'm super excited to dive in. So the back says, I wish as well as everybody else to be perfectly happy, but like everybody else, it must be in your, in my own way. 
which I think is really cute. And it just tells you a little brief on the sisters, how Eleanor is very much like reserved and her younger sister, Ma sister Marianne, throws caution to the wind and is a little more wild and carefree. And I'm excited to read about these two. I am super excited. So those were the two I picked up. Um, lastly, I also got myself a bookmark because I have been using um, photo booth strips <laughs> as my bookmark um, in my stories. So, I mean, which is a great option too, but I wanted something a little bit more durable. So this is like the current one I'm using. And you can see it's kind of like bent and stuff. I have to get something a little, I had to get something a little bit more durable. So I got this beautiful one. It just has all the Cinderella vibes. I love the blue and then the glitter gold and the tassel. I'm excited to have a bookmark. <laughs> and oh, I wanted to mention a Target find. So if you maybe don't have a Barnes and Nobles by you, that's completely fine. Um, there are plenty of other options to go shopping for books. And um, one of my other favorite places to shop at is Target. And I found this one specifically. This one is a kind of thriller suspense novel. I started like rereading and finding my love for reading again, starting with suspense novels, to be honest. I just feel like thrillers are so much fun. They keep you on the edge of your seat. You're never bored reading a suspenseful thriller novel. So this one specifically is called You Shouldn't Have Come Here by Geneva Rose. And I am super excited to read it because, I mean, look at that cover. It looks so, so creepy. I'm excited. But the back of it actually says, Grace Evans, an overworked New Yorker, looking for a total escape from her busy life, books an Airbnb on a ranch in the middle of Wyoming. When she arrives at the idyllic getaway, she pleased, she's pleased to find that the owner is a handsome man by the name of Calvin Wells, and he's eager to introduce her to his easygoing way of life. But there are things Grace discovers that she's not too pleased about, a lack of cell phone service, a missing woman, and a feeling that something isn't right with the ranch. What? I'm excited to read this, you guys. I think this will be towards the end of my books. Like, I think I'll probably read these before this. I feel like this would be really cool to cozy up and read like at the start of autumn, fall, Halloween. Like this is giving me all those vibes. Um, but I will definitely give you an update, updated review on it. And I'm excited. Like you guys, I'm super excited to read this. Um, I actually own two Airbnb properties. So this is right up my alley. I can't wait to see this story unfold. And then for my current read, my current read is A Court of Wings and Ruin. This is a part of a series, series that I've been reading. Um, I actually spoke about the very first book in my last video. If you guys didn't see my summer reads, definitely check that out. Um, and I told you how did a very Beauty and the Beast vibe, and that is a part of the series. And this is the third book. So this is the third book. I am at chapter 18, I believe. So I'm like not even halfway through. I want to read a little bit more today and kind of knock out some of this so that I can move on, obviously. But um, these books are 700 pages. That is my only like kind of like scuff about like this particular series. A lot of the books are 700 pages, which I mean, it's fine, but it's a lot of time. That's a lot of reading. So I feel like this is like four books in like one, you know, but it is an amazing series. This one, right, this writer, Sarah J. Moss is so good at just transporting you to like a different land, to transporting you to like a fairy land and like uh, all the mythical creatures. The, she's so vivid in describing them. Like, her imagination must be like brilliant, honestly, but an amazing, amazing read so far. This is what I'm going to be working on reading today. I think what I'm going to do is bake some cookies because I love baking or cooking. Like I feel like it's good to like have the house smell 
like really yummy and then you sit down and you cozy up with the book. So we're gonna bake some cookies and, and then we're gonna get to reading. Okay, you guys, so my house officially smells like chocolate chip cookies. They are currently baking. I went with a classic chocolate chip. Who doesn't love chocolate chip cookies? I don't know one person who doesn't like chocolate chip cookies. Um, I got the recipe online. It is a small batch recipe because me and my husband do not only need like 30, 40 cookies in our in our home at a time. It's only me and him, so we would definitely finish all those cookies and that would not be good for our health. So um those are baking um but in the meantime i did make myself a little lunch I just have like a toasted croissant with some potato chips and some pickles does anybody else is it just me but like anytime you have like a sandwichy type of thing you need like chips to go with it like is it just me i love having chips with my like little sandwiches um and basically what i'll do now is cozy up so sometimes i choose to cozy up on the couch Sometimes I hang out here on the floor. It really depends on the mood I'm in and you know what I'm into. Super excited to get back into reading my book. I left it kind of at a cliffhanger so I'm excited to dive right in and that is it you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I hope you guys loved going with me to Barnes and Nobles, seeing what I picked up and just discussing all things reading and cozy vibes. You know what else are we gonna do here on my channel? And I hope you guys have a fabulous, fabulous rest of your day. Don't forget to subscribe on your way out, and I'll see you next time. Bye!